Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with our subject computer graphics. The next topic in the subject is a projection. So what is this projection? A projection is representing an n dimensional object into n minus 1 dimensional. So you have to remember that a projection is nothing but it is just representing an n dimensional object into n minus 1 dimensional. Means suppose if you take the 3D objects, it is going to represent that 3, 3D objects in 2D. So that you call it as a projection. A projection is representing an n dimensional object into n minus 1 dimensional object. So that is the same. It is a process of converting the 3D objects into 2D objects. And it is also defined as mapping or transformation of the object in projection plane or a view plane. So not only it is, uh, uh, we call that it is conversion of the 2D objects into 2, uh, 3D objects into 2D, uh, 2D objects. It is also defined as mapping. We can also call it as a mapping or transformation of an object in projection plane or a view plane. Uh, so the projection concept is a converting 3D to 2D. So here we can also define as a transformation of object. Obviously it is transforming the object from 3D to 2D in projection plane. That you call it as a projection. Okay. So I hope you understand. A projection is nothing but it is a transformation of n dimensional objects into n minus 1 dimensional object in a projection plane or a view plane. Now let's come to you. A projection is of two types. One is a parallel projection and another is a perspective projection. So just remember these two words. Whenever you are talking about the projection, you have to think there are two different types of projections are there. One is a parallel and another is a perspective. So in this video, I want to just give and what is a parallel projection and what is a perspective projection. Okay. So... Actually, I said the projection is of two types. One is a parallel projection and another is a perspective projection. A parallel projection is of two types, orthographic and oblique. Okay. So, the orthographic and oblique are representing the parallel projections. Orthographic is can be used as a view as a multi-view or axonometric view. Means like isometric, diametric, trimetric. Okay. So, you can uh, view this orthographic in a multi-view or it can be iso di tri metric. Okay. So, means you what you can say the projection which is an orthographic can be viewed in different types. You can directly view in multi-view or you can view in a single view or it may be a diametric view or it may be a trimetric view. And the parallel projection another type is the oblique view. So, this oblique is a general one. It, ca is, it is of two types. One is a cavalier and another is a cabinier. And another type of the projection is the perspective. So, the perspective projection is represented in one point, two point and the three point. Okay. So, this is just an overview. A projection is of two types. One is a parallel and another is a perspective. Parallel may be orthographic or oblique. And perspective may be one point, two point, three point. So, let me give us a definition of, of pa parallel projection and the perspective projection. What exactly the parallel projection is? So, what I said, a projection is nothing but it is a transformation of n dimensional object into n minus 1 dimensional object in a view plane or a projection plane. So, this projection is of two types. One is a parallel and another is a perspective. So, if you Talk about the parallel projection. Now, let's see what is this. In this coordinate positions uh, are transformed to the view plane along a parallel lines. The name seeing parallel means the projection will be in the form of parallel lines. So, that you have to, uh, you have to understand by seeing the word. Parallel means the view should be in parallel. So, let's see this here. This is a projection plane, what I said. A projection plane. Uh, where uh, 
the transformation is going to be take place that is a projection plane or a view plane we call it as a projection plane or a view plane so in this plane uh, a transformation of the 3d object is converted into 2d object that is the concept so here the coordinate positions are transformed to view plane along the parallel lines so this is the object okay and this is the object and this is the projection line so a b is an object from starting from a and ending from uh, b okay this is an object it has to be projected on the projection uh, plane okay so this is a projection line so now the image will be placed on the projected plane that is a view plane so this image will be traversed in parallel that is the center of projection at infinity the parallel projection is at infinity you can call it as it as it can be displayed at infinite distance okay a projection is said to be parallel when you can say it is a parallel if the center of projection so there is a center of projections where you have to be see uh, you are going to see means the eye uh, the person okay the person is a center of projection suppose this person uh, a projection is said to be parallel if the center of projection is at infinite distance from the projected plane suppose this person that is the center of projection of in, is at infinite place then this image will be uh, appeared parallelly so the projection lines are parallel to other and extended from the object and intersect the view plane so this is an object it is intersecting the view plane and it will traverse over a parallel lines it is the center of projection which is at infinite distance so you had to remember that a projection is said to be parallel if the center of projection so whatever the center of projection which is present at infinite distance suppose if it is present at infinite distance from the projected plane means not from the object from the projected plane if that center of the uh, projection is at infinite distance then the image will be traveled parallelly suppose if it is present at uh, at one point at one point it uh, the seeing of that object is not infinite means it, it is not a parallel so that i'll say so i hope you understand this concept parallel projection means a projection is said to be parallel if the center of the projection which is present at infinite distance you don't know where it is suppose if it is present here means you can directly see the object but if it is present at somewhere at infinite distance means you can't directly see the object so which is placed on the projection plane that is a dash b dash which is an object you can't you can't see that object so the view will be in parallel lines then what about the perspective projection a projection is said to be perspective projection if the center of the object is at finite distance so this is has to be remembered if the center of the object is at infinite distance means you don't know where you are uh, uh, standing okay and you are not able to see the object on the view plane in the projected plane then the lines will be projection parallel projections in the case of perspective the center of the projection which is nothing but a man a person okay is at a finite distance from the projected plane so here you can see this is the projected plane okay this is a projected plane so this is an object this object is placing uh, the view uh, projected in the projected plane which is a view plane so if this uh, center of the projection is at finite distance so here it is finite distance so that a person is standing here means that it is an eye the person is seeing here which is that center of projection is at finite distance to this projected plane okay then you call it as a perspective projection so these are the projected rays where the center of the projection is able to see that projected rays that you call it as a perspective so the main difference between the parallel and the perspective is the center of projection is at finite distance in the case of perspective and the center of the projection is at infinite distance in the case of parallel projection so visual effect is similar to human visual system so in perspective uh, projection it's the visual effect is just like a human visual system the object appears smaller as distance from center of object that is the eye of observer increases 
so whatever the object here outside the object it is very big when it is placed on the projector it will comes uh, the size will be decreased the object appears uh, smaller as distance from center of the projection which is the eye observes is increasing so here if the eye observer is increasing means he is coming from this way the object size is going to be reduced it is difficult to determine exact size in the shape of the object so in case of the perspective projection it is di uh, difficult to determine exact size and shape of object so this is about the parallel and the projection uh, perspective projections so in the next video i'll explain what are the different types of parallel projections and what are the different types of perspective projections thank you